watching Chris 6 News at 5. There is growing concern in Rockport tonight about the state of Little Bay. Residents and environmentalists are worried about the amount of pollutants flowing in the bay daily. They are hoping to educate the public about what's going on. Our Greg Chandler is live in Rockport. Greg, what's actually flowing in the bay? I, I think the better question, Pat, is what isn't flowing into the bay. See, this is Little Bay behind me. It's where all of Rockport's rainwater drains, and that's about 11 culverts worth all flowing into this 350 acre body of water. On top of that, there's more than a million gallons of sewage somehow flowing into this bay on a daily basis. That's more than a half billion gallons a year. And residents I spoke with say they've seen the bay change drastically over the years. One major clue, a lack of seagrass here. You see environmentalists say that when the seagrass dies, the bay is also dying. Their solution, divert the drainage a few hundred feet away to Aransas Bay. Aransas Bay is so large that it will not affect negatively Aransas Bay. But a 350 acre bay, it's devastating and it's getting worse. And, and how far apart are the two bays? Like I said, this is Little Bay or by me. I'm going to move over here and just on the other side of this Rockport Beach sign, that is where Rancis Bay is, a much bigger body of water to diffuse all of those pollutants. And the Navigation District also going to be hosting a public forum here in Rockport at the Saltwater Pavilion. That's tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. We'll have all that information for you on our website, ChrisTV.com. We'll have much more coming up at 6. But for now, reporting live in Rockport, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.